You are watching Witness My Minis. I'm Peter, and today, for once, I actually have a great idea. So when doing this, uh, this being YouTube and content stuff, it's a lot harder than one can think to just come up with ideas to focus on and to what the video is going to be about. I was so naive in the beginning. I just was so hyped about the hobby. I loved helping out with commissions to be able to get to paint different things. So my thoughts while starting this channel was in the lines of, you know, I'm already painting all this stuff, so why not just film it and see if I can inspire somebody else like others have inspired me. Little did I know that making videos for the channel would become a hobby in and of itself. A hobby I do love and find very challenging at times. I try to align my videos with the current project that I have on my table, but that's not always that easy. Lots of times I have a finished piece, lots of video footage of it, and I have to figure out what the video is going to be about after the fact. And as you might figure, that is the opposite of what you should do on YouTube. But not this time. I actually have a great idea. Yeah, I do. So the idea was that I take a mini, I split it into three parts. I paint one part myself, I send the other two off to different painters with no instructions on how to paint it and see where that goes. Total free control. How would that end up? I'm curious. I hope you are too. I started out with reaching out to Gustav over at Ogoreg Miniatures. He is my rock when it comes to 3D sculpting. Not only did he sculpt my mascot Wiley, he also helped out Squidmore on numerous occasions. I asked him if he wanted to join me on this endeavor. He told me that he didn't uh, have the time to paint, but he did have the perfect mini in mind. So some time ago, Gustav did this one, and that later became something completely different. Let me present to you conflicting emotions. After we talked, Gustav actually split this into three different pieces for me to use in my master plan. Then the time came to involve more painters. First of all, you might have seen some of his work already here on the channel. Philip over at Taxic Miniature is actually a co-worker of mine. He is a great painter and a really reliable guy. So of course I wanted him involved in this project. And as for the third part, I actually reached out to Simon. Even though he is from Norway, oh, snap. he is a great guy. He is a member of the mod team over at our Discord. He is a far better painter than I am, mostly known for his KDM stuff. Both Simon and Philip really loved the idea. They were both on board. Simon printed his part on his own 3D printer using the exact same printer that Gustav did. Then it was time to paint. This was actually a tough one to get started. Since it's only part of something, I had a really tough idea of coming up with a color scheme. In the end, I decided that what would be effectful on this project is the fact that there will hopefully be three different paint styles on one bust. So I didn't overthink it too much. I picked a camera set that I hadn't used before and got to painting. This set was actually a set from their recent Kickstarter, Ten... Tenabrea. I really love camera paints, but there's one thing that really bugs me. The consistency of the paints is all over the place. You never know what the consistency of each individual bottle will be. Recently I've been working with Scale Artist paints and I must say it's something that I've grown accustomed to, always knowing what kind of consistency will come out of the tube or bottle. The emotion of the face that I got to paint could be interpreted in a lot of different ways, I think. My first thought was to go with a fiery, angry, hot scheme. But then I thought I wanted him to feel more mad than angry, like laughing in a mental ward kind of mad, like seeing an eldritch horror kind of mad. This would be a small homage to the original print that Ogoreg did with the Lovecraftian vibes. I start from complete black, wanting to 
have full control over my highlights and not having any map set by an airbrush. Setting the light map with an airbrush can be very useful and don't get me wrong, I do it all the time, but I find it more effectful on smaller scale. It's not always correct to only go with directional lighting. So as I said before, it's easier to get away with this on a smaller scale than it is on let's say a bust or a third of a bust. I wet blend slash layer all of the transitions and colors that I want on my bust. I follow the standard temperature of a human face and mix in some red or magenta around the eyes and the nose, as well as some blue around the mouth and some yellow on the forehead. I'm doing this ever so slightly because I don't want to diverge from my scheme. small sidestep. As I mentioned before, Ogreg did actually sculpt my mascot Wily. Here is some lovely community paint jobs of my very own little critter. Last but not least, Amanda baffled me with her skill and her patience when she made me this. Look at him, isn't he wonderful? I can't even fathom how much time this must have taken. Damn. It's so good. <laughs> he is perfect. So if you want to paint a Wiley yourself, you can get the STL over on my Patreon. Either way, you are always welcome in our Discord, where you can find Amanda and ask her for a commission maybe on this crazy crochet shenanigans. Thank you again, Amanda. Thank you so much. I love it. Now back to the video. As you might have noticed, I'm using a large brush, a size 10 synthetic brush. And by this having such a huge belly, I don't have to go back to the palette ever so often. When going for the final highlights, I use stippling emotions to simulate blemishes on skin. Skin is seldom very smooth. And since I use the same colors in my wet blending and my layering beneath it, this will blend in nicely either way. For the NMM I start out with the same blue I already have on my palette for the darkest parts and for the highlights I add turquoise and white for the brightest brightest points on the mini.
And lastly, I put my sexy cogs on and switch down to a smaller brush to do the eyes. Okay, now it's time for the unboxing stuff. So here is my part. Let's put him over here. Okay, as you see here, I um, haven't opened them up yet. Uh, Simon actually sent me his uh, quite a long time ago. He was very fast in painting his one. I'm so excited to actually uh, see what they came up with and actually see what the end product is going to be. Okay, here we go. This is from Philip. He got to paint the other side of the mini, um, the one that you could call sad maybe, or afraid. So let's see what Philip did. Dude, that is crazy, man. I love that he went with kind of muted colors too. Oh, this is going to be so fun. And now for the middle part, made by Simon, all the way from Norway. This is the one that's going to connect both parts. So yeah, this will be the middle ground. Let's see what he had in mind. Oh, dude. Dude, that is so cool. Did like an underlighting. I can't wait to put them together and show you guys. So the only thing that I asked you guys was to not prime on this surface right here. Because, yeah, for obvious reasons. After gluing all the parts together, the last thing I do, I go over them all with the same kind of matte varnish. Just to get a coherent feel across the whole bust. To make them fit together as best as I can. Now, even though they are completely differently painted. So with that said, I spoke to Ogreg Miniatures and he has agreed to give you this split version of the STL for free with the code down below. So head over to his My Mini Factory and get yours today. I issue a challenge. You over there, gather two friends and do one of these yourselves. Can you do it? What will it be? If you do one of these, be sure to tag me in any results. I would love to see how it turned out. So at long last, here is mine, Philip and Simmons' version of conflicting emotions. One mini, three painters. I really feel like this was an experience. It was so much fun to paint it. It was so much fun to collaborate and to see the final result. I'm just so happy that we did this. So in seeing this video, this will be the first time that Simon and Philip sees the final result. I hope you guys liked it. If you thought that this was a good idea and you do like what I do here, please go ahead, comment down below, press the buttons. It helps so much more than you think. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell button if you want to note when I release my next video. Thank you guys. As always, thank you for watching. Bye bye.